Well, hey folks, we're back to working on greenhouse things this weekend, and this is what's going to be going into the foundation that you see exposed on the greenhouse. So we can have that ground to air heat transfer system. All right, we got some pipes going on. Yeah, we got the elbows on. All right, so. So of course we had to do it some weird way. They're not, there must be some other mechanism to connect an elbow to this besides doing this. What we ended up doing is putting straps around the pipe here and then pulling it in, warming it up with a heat gun too to, really get it in so we've got a corrugation the first one is right here so mm -hmm. we got a nice good seal there um, now I just put screws in it around to hold it in place mm -hmm. on this one the end cap we had to modify so the cut I cut this whole chunk out here and you can see it on the other one and you were saying you probably didn't have to do these modifications maybe there was like a, some kind of coupling or a joining piece that right you, that might wrap around and you just bolt it together or something like that but yeah. nothing um, that you'd ordered right and i didn't happen to see anything on the website so but you could see the before here we got a so i cut part of the corrugation off mm -hmm. here yep and then i cut the, the inside smooth back to that first um depression there so so now this will fit on to the end here like that and so we'll do and this is a rubber gasket so that'll kind of help Squish. keep that sealed up as well Squish it into place right so we'll uh, maybe put a little uh, lubrication on there coconut oil or something and then use the straps to pull that in again and then we can get a maybe heat this up with the heat gun get it over the lip yeah just get it pulled on as far as we can Pretty big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so this is the beginnings of the GAT system. All this corrugated tubing is going to be going into the foundation of the greenhouse. All right, so these are the two header pipes. Okay. One will be on the north wall, one will be on the south wall. And so the layout is like a big rectangle or a square? Uh, yes, a big rectangle. But we'll get exact measurements once I get these in. I can see what the distance is from one header pipe to the other. I was anticipating 20 feet. Okay. So we'll have about 34 rungs, uh, 17 in each layer. We'll do two layers. Two. Next step is to kind of lay out where I'm going to put each cut or each drill, each hole. So, because I have to have one kind of pointing, one won't one be below this center mark and one will be above, but they'll be offset. So there'll be one here, one here. So I gotta figure out how I, if I can get 17 in there. Mm. I need my magic marker. Measure it out, okay. Yep. 
So we are following a design for building a GAT system or a climate battery as some call it from Ecosystems Design Inc. These are diagrams from their website and they have a calculator on their website to help determine how much tubing is required for the size greenhouse that you're building. Brian is working on prepping the header tubes for connecting smaller four inch corrugated tubing runs in between them. There is one additional large tube that will end up being the vertical pieces that go into the greenhouse as the intake and the exhaust, and those will be put on later. But these photos show how it's gonna end up looking at as we add back the dirt and the backfill. That's what the pipe cool. double wall looks like. It's got a smooth interior. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good. And I'll put a screw in it. You can put screws on the side. To stabilize it? To keep it from coming Pull, out. Pulling out, okay. Yeah. Too bad it wasn't a corkscrew. It could screw it in. Do those have slits in them or no? Yes, they will have slits in them. In the tube? Yes. Needs to let water in and out. That's why I'll have the silt cover. Okay. So the dirt doesn't get inside. Drill's gonna shit the bed. So we got a lot of dirt to put back in the hole. Yeah. So and I have to separate the bottom layer of tubes with dirt from the second layer of tube. There's two of, layers. There's two layers. So I don't want to drill the, the upper holes yet because we'll be dumping all that dirt and I don't want any of the dirt to get in the tubes. Oh, okay. Because these will be sealed because they'll be connected before we put any dirt in. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah. Time to carry these puppies down to the thing. Carrying them. Well, we'll get the tractor. Hopefully I can get through. <laughs> See how far in we can go. Like. So one step before uh, we can really put all the tubing in is to put down some weed stop fabric. That's what you got there.
I wasn't really pulling that hard. There you go. Okay guys, so this is the beginning of our GAT system. Um, so GAT system again is ground to air heat transfer. I don't know how much heat we're going to transfer. We're definitely transferring air, but this is our attempt to get more of a moderate temperature year round. So we won't get so hot in the summertime when the sun is shining and we'll be able to harvest some of that underground air for those chilly winter days. Right. So um, we showed you earlier the outline for the system. Uh, we're following the ecosystems yeah, outline. I downloaded their their, des their design for uh, fashioning our grid of corrugated tubing. Yeah, they, they have a little spreadsheet that you can download and you just plug in your numbers. Mm -hmm. So, so I know we've had some folks really wondering about this stage and like. We're really close to backfilling everything. So this is like the very final step. So two header pipes, and then Brian's using four inch corrugated tubing that were, they're gonna be the horizontal Little pieces. Stringers, I guess you call stringers, them. Stringers, yeah. So there'll be two layers. So we've, he drilled the holes already for the lower layer. And then... And then we'll start backfilling. And then once we get up to the second layer, then they'll drill those holes. So we don't get dirt down in the pipe, yep. the main pipe. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do it, a lot of different details, but Brian decided to go with the four inch corrugated too, because uh, by doing a four inch hole, we can avoid having to purchase all additional connectors to put the tubes in. Yeah, Just, I, uh, I saw this, uh, a, a guy did this on YouTube. Um, I drilled a th four and a half inch hole, and then the outside diameter of that corrugate is just a little bit bigger than that. So we'll just cut a little slit and then be able to slide it in and put a screw in there, and that'll hold it in place. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we, you know, it's taken a while to get to this step, but we've had very good luck with the weather. So we've got our funnels lasting extra long with very warm temperatures. Uh, so yeah. uh, no snow in the horizon for weeks. Say that with fingers crossed but uh so yeah hopefully we can get the stage done get the dirt back in and then uh we can work on the structure so yeah that's uh so what's happening next you need to get a little bit more fabric barrier because right. the order was short yeah that happens sometimes <laughs> and then um purchasing the four inch corrugated yep i'm we'll getting that tomorrow yeah so we got the header tubes and what was that last header tube that big one. Well, we need the vertical pieces. Oh, the vertical piece. Okay. So that'll take a little bit of. Okay. So we have one more big piece from uh, the original order. So we'll have a couple for. Uh, yeah, so the one will be lower than the other. One will be higher up, closer to the as high up to the ceiling as we can get it. Oh, okay. So. This so because that's where the it'll be hot up, hottest up there. Yeah. So. All right. So no fans or anything else going on down here other than just laying down some weed stock. Brian poured a little bit of copper sulfate wheat root killer because we do have aspens. This is like an aspen grove. So that'll help uh, contain trees from coming up in here that we don't want. Um, yeah, so it's happening guys. We're yeah, on to the next We gotta stage. run the water line too. So before we backfill, I gotta get that put in. Yeah, okay, so. yeah. All right, so that's where we're at, folks. Uh, so GAT system, ground to air heat transfer, or what's another? Climate uh, battery. Climate battery. Mm -hmm. climate battery is what people are calling it. So. We're just storing heat in the ground. Yep. That's yep. why we're all insulated. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, hopefully we'll uh, finish up the job without getting interrupted by too many moose yes. this weekend. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see all you next right, time. Bye-bye.